Hi friends, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with me today. Really appreciate it. I am super excited to be at Ilma International School and it's my honor to connect, communicate and understand some of the important aspects related to their studies. And now the question is, who are these students? I am right now in class 10th, right? Yes. I'm right now in class 10th. And this gentleman is the topper of the class. What was your percentage in the class 9th? 98%. 98%. Whoa, wow, that's really amazing. What is your plan? What is your target for class 10th? I need to take it about 98%. Is planning to target to score more than 98%? Is it like 99% or 100%? 100%. 100 Big round of applause to Mr. Rahman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Now, Rahman, when you speak, you have to speak louder, okay? Because the class is big. We have at least 50 plus students here, and they will be taking notes about your best practices that you are following every single day to achieve 100 out of 100. Yeah? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Mr. Rahman, I really want to understand what is your regular day activities? Can you tell everyone here so that they can also try and practice all the habits that you're following on a single day, every single day? Daily, I will wake up at 4 o'clock. Okay, he he wakes up at 4 a.m., right? Not p.m. A.m. A.m., okay? 4 a.m. Very good. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, used to take over my uh, chapters and revise it. Afterwards, I will go, uh, go through test books. Then I will mark the questions uh, which are important for uh, me. And I will uh, use to study before one month. And uh, when the uh, exam is near, I'll, I will be practicing for those important questions and I will uh, take the help of teachers and I will take the model papers and I will revise it uh, every day. Okay. Uh, because, um, and the daily routine. Of okay. So, number one, he gets up at 4 a.m. And then, do you immediately start studying or do you maybe exercise or prayer? Do you do all those activities as well? No. Uh, first, I will go and uh, fresh up, and I will come and uh, study. Uh, I will uh, st study my school works. Okay. And afterwards, at uh, five o'clock, I will read uh, namaz. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I will uh, go to my tuitions. Uh, it will be from uh, six thirty to seven thirty, and I, I will be uh, return to school. Okay. Then, basically, what he does is he takes care of all the regular activities related to his studies. Right. Number one, you study the toughest subject in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And which is the toughest subject for you? Max. Mathematics. How many students feel mathematics is tough? Raise your hand. Almost everyone. I think they're like last ventures, like four or five students. They feel like it's not really tough. Okay. All right. That's very nice. If frankly speaking, Mathematics is the most easiest subject. Do you know why? Any thoughts? No idea? Why? No idea? Mathematics is the most easiest subject because it is the only subject where you can score 100 marks easily. Mathematics is all about knowing the formula, applying the formula and then getting the result. That's, that's it, right? You are right now feeling mathematics is the toughest subject mainly because your basics, the basic foundation is not really, really strong. That's the only reason. The moment you start working on the basics, right, then you will be in a very good position to understand the entire topic, irrespective of which chapter and so on, right? That's the only concern right now students are facing. And those students will find mathematics difficult because their basic foundation is weak. Okay. All right. So wh what is what is one um, habit that you are following, Rahman, that is helping you to achieve 
maybe 98 percent or that is helping you to become topper of the class i uh, refer test books daily and uh, i will go go to uh, every chapters uh, i will take for uh, one week i will uh, do only for grammars afterwards uh, lessons chapters filling the blanks um, and uh, next week i will use to read question answers Bob, I like this very much. How many of you understood his strategy of learning, studying? Did you understand? Okay. Number one, he has a strategy to learn in a very planned way. Okay. He has a plan. He's a good planner. First week, what he said was he focuses on the grammar. For example, if it's a language, he focuses on the grammar. It gives importance to understand the grammar, number one. Then the following week, he focuses completely on the question and answer, yeah. right? Then the following week, he, maybe he starts focusing on practicing everything, right? And then he has a structured way of studying. And it's very important for every individual here. If you really want to score high, then you need to have a plan for yourself, for your studies, because you are responsible for your studies. Do you agree? Yeah. Teachers are there to support you. Parents are there to support you. Management is there to support you. They are here to help you so that you become successful in your studies. The big question is, are you ready to devise a plan? Are you ready to create an effective plan and then start working on that plan and make it happen? How many are how many of you have a timetable here no one really you have just one person raise your hand just one person two three okay good now i see raise hand icons boys me no no timetable really you 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 have timetable okay now the question is how many of you follow timetable seriously? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boys? No, right? Do you know where the problem is? Do you realize where the real problem is? Because you are not disciplined. You are really not disciplined. And you don't have a standard timetable to follow. He wakes up at 4 a.m. What time do you go back to sleep? I uh, no time. I will continue. You don't sleep at all? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. I are don't. you human or who are you? Till 6 o'clock I will drink. Afterwards I, I will go. I will uh, ready my, I will pack my things. Okay. I will go to tuition. Okay, then? At 7.30 uh, in uh, school max class it will be. Then directly from tuition I will be coming here. Okay, then? Then uh, till 3.30 uh, it will be, uh, school will be end. Okay. And I will go to uh, home and uh, sleep for uh, some time. And You're sleeping, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to take rest. It's very important to take rest. I will be, be sharing one beautiful strategy. And you just have to follow that strategy. Inshallah, you will be able to achieve amazing results. Okay. All right. So, Rahman said so many things. I hope you took notes. Right. If I may ask, uh, did you write? Did you take notes? No? Yes. Why? How, how many of you took notes? No one? Konbi Likheni? Did you? Did you take notes? Come here. Stand. Read loudly. Read loudly. Getting up four a.m. Reading your like, reading your time uh, timetable, guys. That's it. Only two points. Okay, good. Go sit. Anyone else? Boys. Girls. Now they are writing. Someone, you can come here. Please come. <coughs> come. 
Okay, now the question is, Rahman, why do you want to score 100%? Because uh, I want to become number one. Okay, I like this answer because he wants to become number one. You want you want to become number one. Then, then what happens? What next? Let's say you have become number one. Then what will you do? I just I will focus on my goals. Continuing. Focus on your goals. Yeah. Okay. What is your goal? Come on. To become one. To become? Some more. To become IAS officer. That's what you said, right? You want to become IAS officer. Now, why do you want to become IAS officer? To solve the administrative problems. Okay, to solve problem. the problems. In general, he wants to solve the problems. All right. Let's hear it for Mr. Abdul Rahman. Big round of applause to Abdul Rahman. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your valuable thoughts and uh, thank you. Re really, really, I really want to thank him for sharing his way of studies, the strategies, right? Really appreciate it. All right. So, Naz, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with me in conversation with um, Mr. Abdul Rahman as well. Now, you being the topper of class 10th at Ilma International School, I really want to understand what are your habits, what are your key habits that is helping you to become a topper of the class? Okay, so I wake up at 4.30 4 usually every day. Okay. And then I just focus on the language subject as, subjects such as English, Kannada, Hindi and all. I just revise the main topics of it. Then I get ready to school and go to school. After coming from school, I just focus on the like, uh, I just come cover two chap uh, chapters in a day. Yep. Like one will be like complicated and one, one, one other will be like, okay, like, so I just merge two chapter, uh, two right. subjects. And then I just cover, like, there is no particular subject which, which it is. Mm -hmm. I just cover two subjects every day. Okay. All right. So she gets up at 4, 4 30, right? And then she focuses on the toughest subjects. Not toughest, like the language subjects. Achha, okay. Kannada, so, English, and Hindi, such like. Okay. Um, see, when I interacted with students, right? Majority of the students, early morning, they try and focus on the toughest subjects, like mathematics or science. It's very interesting thought I came to know from you, um, Naz that early morning you try and focus to learn a language why do you do that is it because language subject is difficult for you no nothing is difficult for me everything i can balance it well right. just i just revise the main topics on the morning because my mind don't work in the afternoon okay all right so, so you don't like to solve problems early morning uh, you want to read something like stories all that stuff okay then what else you do yeah, then um, I just revise all these, uh, like two subjects in a day. One will be the complicated, like a bit complicated okay. one. And then another will be like general. It's uh, It will be... Okay, so good. step two, she spends most of the time in revising the subject, the complicated subject, right? Okay, then what next? Then I just uh, revise and solve some max problems. Mathematics. I just solve some model papers also. Okay. To understand the concept, like how the papers for the final exam. Yeah, that's all. Okay. All right. So she also has a strategy to study well. And she specifically mentioned something about revision. Revision has a lot of power. Remember that. I will share one formula with you before I leave this classroom on how you need to revise anything. Because when you read something, that information is stored in your short-term memory, which is located in front. Okay. Now, if you want to move the short-term information, right, you have to revise at different intervals. Okay. I'll share that formula, and if you can formula, if you can follow that formula, inshallah, you will be able to 
recall the information instantly, especially during the examination hall. That's one thing. Okay. Step one. Step two. Practice is the key to success. And the success for any examination is scoring maximum marks. Right. It's not just like first class distinction, nothing. Maximum. You always have to target for 100 then you give your best study revise practice keep repeating the same thing again and again again and again because we are in the mid of january i think we, we have another two and a half months left for exam when is the exam starting march 20 25th almost we, we are i think uh, jan is gone feb march like two months we hardly have two months you have to utilize this time wisely okay you have to disconnect from mobile phone disconnect from television disconnect from internet disconnect from gamings right you have to connect yourself with books you have to connect yourself with the teachers then start studying each and every chapter of each and every subject consistently you have to study. You have to have a plan. I will share that plan with you. If you can follow this plan for the next two months, I am sure you will be able to easily achieve at least first class. Right? Okay. Now, how many students are here who wants to score maybe, let's say, 85% above? Raise your hand. Okay. 50% of the class. Very nice. Fantastic. I really like it. I'm not sure what you're trying to say, man. He's like. Okay. All right. So, Naz and uh, Rahman, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And I really got to understand a lot of new things today. And uh, we will get started. I'll be sharing a lot of uh, other practices as well. Okay. Thanks. And please, please go ahead. Take your seat. Really appreciate it.